And so we're going to take you this evening our women's vision city lineup. Starting at 11, he's number one, Georgina Worth. Number three, Jacqueline Cashman. Dylan. Number six, Billy Murphy. Number eight, Talitha Kramer. Number ten, Lani Freyer. Number 11, Georgia Thompson. Number 13, Amy Cook. Number 14, Stephanie Latham. Number 15, Tully Lilly. And number 16, Mia Green. And substitutions for this evening is number 4, Ulo Luthana. Number 9, Jonty Fisher. Number 12, Letitia Foster. Number 19, Susanna Peck. Number 23, Kate Bonnets Ben. And number 26, Georgia Beaumont. Round of applause for our under 13s and our under 11 Academy girls. Academy girls. Get ready FQTV viewers because a top of the table clash is upon us this Saturday night. Brisbane City, last year's FQPL1 champions, welcome the currently undefeated Gold Coast United to the Imperial Corp Stadium. Gold Coast United are currently riding high with a perfect record of four wins from four. Their most recent victory seeing them dismantle the QAS with a convincing 4-0 scoreline. Whilst Brisbane City did see their own perfect start come to, the, to an end in last week's 3-all draw with Eastern Suburbs, 
their attacking prowess is undeniable. Last season, Gold Coast fell just short of glory, losing the NPL Women's Grand Final 1-0 to Eastern Suburbs. They'll be hungry to go one better this time around, and this match could be a crucial indicator of their title ambitions. I'm Adam Cattell, and I'm excited to be bringing you the action tonight. Let's check in on the two teams, starting with Brisbane City, who are coached by David De Silva, and they have Georgia Worth in goal. Three is Jacqueline Cashman, five, Jess Dillon, 8, Talitha Kramer, 10, Lani Thryer, 11, Georgia Thompson, 14, and captain Steph Latham, 15, Tully Heatley, 16, is Mia Green, 13, is Amy Cook, and 6, is Billy Murphy. On the bench, Willow Lacana, John T. Fisher, Letitia Foster, Georgia Belmont, Kate Bonnets ben and the reserve keeper is Susanna Peck. As for the visitors, Gold Coast United, they are coached by Craig Midgley, they have Layla Adams in goal, Three and captain is Momo Hayashi. Four, Charlie Farmer. Six, Estia Neckerbrook. Seven, Angelina Adur. Eight, Jade Lowe. Fourteen, Kiri Dale. Fifteen, Kira Richards Bassett. Thirteen, Holly Cesarago. Ten, Dee Quirk. And eighteen is Isabel Andrews. On the bench, Sophie Parker, Ellie McMurty, Ashley Adamson, Claudia Goddard, Charlize Lems, and Aisha DeAndrade. Brisbane City in their familiar blue shirts, white shorts and blue stockings. Going from left to right on your screen. Gold Coast United in their yellow shirts. Look like they'll be getting this underway. It is first versus second this evening. And away we go. Brisbane City making three changes from that draw last weekend with Willa Lacana, Jonty Fisher and Letitia Foster all dropping to the bench. And Billy Murphy, Amy Cook and Georgia Thompson who did get that equaliser coming into the starting 11 as Cashman plays that in. As we can see Brisbane City, they did have a perfect three from three prior to that three all draw with Eastern Suburbs, including an 8 1 victory away at Sunshine Coast Wanderers as D Quirk looks to get the cross in here. In it comes, and a chance, and a good save from Georgia Worth. And eventually cleared for a corner. Well, what an opportunity with some good work there from D Quirk to work the ball into the box. And Jade Lowe denied by Georgia Worth. What a start from the visitors. Here comes the corner. And corner again is the decision. Galkaus United starting on the front foot. And but for a very smart stop by Georgia Worth. They would have had the lead inside a minute there. Corner taken again, looking for Hayashi at the near post. And that time it does go for a goal kick. The goal Coast United, as I did mention, they did defeat the QAS 4-0 at the Coplicks last weekend. They are without Bronte Rose and Zoe Corbett this evening, so two big misses for the visitors. City building with Freya and it's over the top, but it might be asking too much of Georgia Thompson indeed. Layla Adams can gather the ball. She has represented the junior Matildas, Layla Adams, one of a number of players this evening who have that achievement. the ball back with Georgina Worth won back well by Latham looking to try and thread that pass through for Georgia Thompson but it will go for a throw in 
Gold Coast United coach Craig Midgley in his first season in charge. He has served as the club's technical director since 2017. He's certainly not making a bad fist of it so far with those four consecutive victories. As we just break off with City coming forward now and Cashman just looking to check back. Gets a cross in with the right foot met by the head of Hayashi. Forward by Green, picked up by Latham, but it's won back by Kerry Dale and Layla Adams will clear halfway. Now Tully Heatley, who two goals for her last weekend. I spent the last two seasons with the QAS part of the future Matildas program as I did mention two goals last week against Eastern Suburbs four already this season for her cleared by Murphy clicked on by Fryer but will be picked up by Mama Hayashi who immediately looks to drive forward Richards Bassett's unable to keep that one in. Murphy back to Georgina Worth, who does have plenty of A-League women's experience. Six years with Brisbane Roar and then spent last year with Newcastle Jets. Isabel Andrews with the throw in. Cashman finding Cook. Now Murphy. Kramer on the turn with a little bit of space but a loose touch and it's picked up here by Gold Coast United. It was Charlie Farmer with the interception. Couldn't pick out Neckerbrook, but here's Dee Quirk making a nuisance of herself. Brisbane City will settle for the throw in. Yes, Goldcast United coach Craig Midgley, as I did say, he's the club's technical director. Had a long professional career back in England. Started out with his hometown club, Bradford City, before loan moves at Scarborough and Darlington and then Hartlepool and finished his career with Halifax Town. And since his playing career has finished, he has worked as a technical director or coach educator, he does hold a pro license. But this is a new experience for him, taking charge of the women's seniors team this year. Brisbane City working inside, taken down nicely by Murphy. Pass was cut out and now Neckerbrook is given away and there's Amy Cook who grabbed a couple of goals in that 8-1 win against Sunshine Coast a fortnight ago. Hiyashi so, confident start from the visitors. And the City throw in. Well, Mitchelton did have the chance to move to the top of the table, albeit briefly. 
kicking off earlier today against the QAS, but they went down to a 4-1 defeat. Which might be viewed as a little bit of a surprise. It was the QAS's first points of the season. A great victory for them. But Mitchelton will stay on 10 points. Lions taking on Peninsula Power a little bit later this evening as the ball is cleared by Adur. Brought down by Heatley and turns really well, Tully Heatley. Eventually loses out but does well to regain possession. Cashman, Cook. And now Murphy. Long ball by Murphy, it's a good one to pick out Steph Latham, laid off now for Thompson who's gone for the chip and she wasn't too far away. Did score a fantastic chip last weekend against Eastern Suburbs. Didn't quite have the sight at that time. Always going over the bar. which is Bassett, it's won back well by Brisbane City, Thompson. That's a good ball to the far post and punched away by Adams. Brisbane City starting to assert a little bit of dominance here, what a lovely ball that is to find Thompson. Low cross in and it will go for a City corner, their first of the game. Brisbane City just starting to find their groove now. A nice pass by Latham and then Adur just putting that behind for a corner. In comes the corner, a low one. They'll go all the way back to Murphy. Dale just putting that out for a city throw in taken quickly it's Latham shooting chance on the left foot and it took a deflection hacked away by Dale but it's still not cleared properly and eventually one of the grounds from the home crowd tell you a little bit of a soft free kick certainly Galkas United will be happy with that one Brisbane City, well they were prior to that Mitchelton game, the top scorers in the MPL women's comp so far with 17 goals. So nearly half of them came in that Sunshine Coast demolition. Whereas Gold Coast United have got the meanest defence, just three goals conceded so far, actually all came in the same game. It was their 4-3 victory over Lions at the Luxury Paint Stadium back in round three. will certainly be tested by this city attack this evening as Hayashi takes a free kick. Not a good one. Picked up by Richards Bassett. Dale will get that one back to Adams. Richards Bassett. Galkos United giving it away. It's Fryer. And then Jade Lowe nearly pinching that off. Fryer, who does well to recover. Now Cook. And a chance now for D. Quirk. Has two to contend with and. It's won back well by Jacqueline Cashman. And then behind harmlessly for a goal kick. D Quirk wearing number 10 for Gold Coast United, formerly D Thompson. Back at Gold Coast United this year after having last season with Palm Beach. He's a prolific scorer in this competition. Second all-time record goal scorer just behind 
Teagan riding. And this is her first start. She's been used off the bench so far, but with that Grunty Rose missing, she's been needed from the start this evening. Ayashi. Now to Richards Bassett, but a loose pass. Latham kept in, picked up by Fryer. It's played inside to Dylan. Ayashi under pressure, surely a push in the back there from Tully Heatley. Referee agrees. Ayashi has stayed down here, might need some treatment. They certainly won't be wanting to lose her early on. Just took a bit of a whack in the back there. Mama Hayashi, she was the NPL Player of the Year for 2023. Ten goals last season. She's already got five this year. Got two in that win against the QAS. One from the penalty spot. Looks like she's going to be okay to continue. Yashi, it's a short one to find Dale. Early cross from Dale. It's eventually cleared by the city defence, but a Gold Coast throw in. Richards Bassett across to take this one. Quirk. She can't get the return. Taking the throw in. Farmer. Cook holding off the attentions of Andrews. Back with Georgina Worth. And now Thompson. Looking for the through ball, but Layla Adams is out to collect that one. Taken short to Hayashi. Through ball was trying to find the run of Quirk. Instead it will be picked up by Talifa Kramer. Nicely done, but Richard Bassett's putting on the afterburners, but Thompson will still pick this up. And Lani Fryer almost trying to manoeuvre that for a shooting chance. Throw-in goes Gold Coast United's way. Well, they finished last season fourth on the ladder, Gold Coast United. Actually won away at Lions to uh, clinch a place at the Suncorp Stadium before they lost out by a goal to nil to Eastern Suburbs. Still a campaign they'll look on fondly. And what a start they've made so far this season. Quirk. Trying to pick out Nickerbrook. 
collected by Cook, Latham. Now Dillon, Cashman on the overlap. Some determined defending though by Gold Coast United. Who have had really the best chance of the game so far, that first minute chance for Jade Lowe. Which was saved well, really, almost at point blank range by Georgina Worth. Kramer. Thompson tried to get the quick one too with Leighton. It didn't come off that time. It's Richard Bassett. Now Heatley, Thompson, she'll have to compete with Dale here who does well to shepherd that out for a goal kick. Kiri Dale who was along with Momo Hayashi named in the team of the week for her contribution in that 4-0 win against QAS. Tully Heatley from Brisbane City also made it for her two goals. Cook. I think that might have come off Jade Lowe. It's gone Brisbane City's way. Talifa Kramer, another player who's got A League women's experience with Brisbane Raw, Wellington Phoenix, and Western Sydney Wanderers. Latham cleared by Richard Bassett but only as far as Dillon who rather scuffed the shot in a routine save there for Layla Adams he just couldn't quite connect properly there that time Jess Dillon player who worked with David De Silva back at Morton Bay United Kramer. Quirk. Strong challenge comes in by Billy Murphy. Home crowd appreciated that one. Approaching the halfway mark in the first half, still awaiting our first goal here at Imperial Corp Stadium. It's been a bit of an arm wrestle so far. Just that early chance for Gold Coast United, Jade Lowe, with that shot saved well by Georgina Worth. Oh, and that's almost dropped kindly for D Quirk, but. City holding on to possession. Heatley. Now Fryer has a bit of space to move into here. Still going. And Latham. Nice footwork, but eventually just crowded out by the Gold Coast United defence who have stuck to their task well so far in these opening 22 minutes. Cook. Thompson now. Can't find Latham. Referee just wanting a word here with Jade Lowe. Nothing more. Oh 
And referee has spotted an infringement. It will be a City free kick. In it comes. Met by the head of Steph Latham, but couldn't really get enough power on that one. It was a bit of a tricky one to try and control. Cashman to Green. It's given away. It's up again by Thompson, but Kramer can't keep that one in. Well, Craig Midgley there in the away dugout. I think he'll be fairly pleased with how his team have performed so far. They're managing to keep Brisbane City at an arm's length at the moment. Kramer. Murphy. Back to Green. Heatley on the turn. She gets past two defenders. Fryer. And now Cashman. Chance to get the ball into the box and. In the end, it's Mamo Hayashi, the covering defender. And a second city corner. It's taken short. And still going here, Brisbane City, but eventually given away. A bit of a disappointing end to that one. Murphy. Nice ball to find Kramer. As Richard Bassett's ahead of her, shows a bit too much of it though to Richard Bassett. She wants a corner, and she's got one. Must have just taken a nick there off Richard Bassett. Here comes the city corner. Taken to the near post. It was Steph Latham just trying to hook it goalwards. And will that be another city corner? Yes, it will. Their fourth of the game. Another chance for City here, and it comes. Adams comes to claim, gets a punch on it, shot comes in straight into a pack of bodies. And again, a routine take for Layla Adams. Hoisted clear by Hayashi. Again, Brisbane City picking up the pieces. It's Cook. Now cleared by Kiri Dale. City certainly dominating the possession, but as it stands, not able to find that breakthrough so far and Gold Coast United trying to hit them on the break with Neckerbrook, finds Quirk. She's going to need support, some nice footwork, but no one was on the same page that time. Cashman charging forward. And Yashi all the way back to Adams.
ball by Yashi. We know what a threat she is from set pieces. 30 yards, 40 yards, that's certainly within her range, but no opportunity for her so far. As Lowe finds a Dur. Here is Hayashi. Farmer. Only as far as Cashman. And that's a strong tackle coming in from Mama Hayashi. And well, the free kick's gone her way. You can see Steph Latham with the shake of the head. It was certainly two players, both captains actually, not giving an inch. And I think. The referee are judging Latham just to have lent in to Hayashi. Who will take this free kick. Not sure if she'll go for goal from here. Well, we have seen her attempt from the halfway line before. Let's see what she's got in store here. Taken short. It's Dale. Finds low at the second attempt to do now. Redwell by Kramer. Farmer back to Hayashi. It's one for Isabel Andrews to chase. Well defended by Jacqueline Cashman. Half an hour gone here at the Imperial Corp Stadium. Still awaiting our first goal. Well certainly Brisbane City weren't short of goals last season. 144 they managed in the FQPL one last year from just 21 games, 21 wins and a 5-1 victory at the Suncorp Stadium in the grand final against South West Queensland Thunder. And certainly not in the MPL this year to make up the numbers. A few people tipping them to go close this year. Kramer. Layoff from Latham to Cook. Fryer. Oh, what a ball that is now until he hit me into the box, but it's um, again alert goalkeeping from Layla Adams. It was a lovely city move. So we just watch on the replay. Through ball finding Heatley, but look how quick Layla Adams is off her line there. City come again. Latham tries to find Heatley with City and um, Gold Coast United will get it away. Neckerbrook, chance for a Gold Coast break perhaps. He's going to need a better pass than that to find D Quirk. Ball back with Georgina Worth, who's when she's not playing football, she's an exercise physiologist. Layoff by Fryer to Cook. Latham. So, not a bad ball if Fryer can keep that one in, which she can. Holds off the attentions of Andrews as the shot comes in, and again, not too much power in that. That's Another fairly routine stop for Layla Adams. Cashman. And now Dylan. Fryer. 
picking out Kramer who attempts that early ball it almost found Steph Latham it was well read by Hayashi Farmer back to Dale and Richard Bassett's again sure if a player has gone down or quite what's happened here City have put the ball out of play I think it might be Billy Murphy with a problem at the bottom of your screen Carcass United will give this ball back just a chance for players to take on refreshments it's still quite a warm evening well, I think Carcass United will give the ball back to Brisbane City and they do Ten minutes or so to go in this first half. Brisbane City nil, Gold Coast United nil. City with a line share of possession, but at the moment can't find that breakthrough. Maybe it'll come here. Here's Kramer. Thompson now. Good defending by Richards Bassett. We haven't seen too much from her as in, a, in an attacking sense so far, but she certainly put a shift in defensively. That's had all the Gold Coast United side so far. D Quirk is having to plough a bit of a long furrow up there at the moment. Well, the miscontrol there by Thryer. You don't see that very often. Dale back to Adams. Oh, no. Bit of a loose one, he lets in Thompson. Um, Low cross comes in. Just like asking, uh, Dealt with by Farmer. Richard Bassett. Feeling the effect of that tackle from Talifa Kramer. Oh, he, might, he might be in the channel actually, damn it. <sighs> okay, it's all good. Cleared long by Dale. Dylan finds Cashman. Cashman into Freya. Again, that Gold Coast United defence standing firm. Hayashi. Neckerbrook. And the layoff doesn't find a dir. Hitley and Latham. Gets on this one, takes a shot early, but never seriously troubling Layla Adams. Steph Latham, who has five goals this season, 51 for her last season. Even over the course of like, if you're doing a full day, yeah, sometimes you get cloud cover come in. Amy Cook. I will have a look after the game. I think you're at the time. Just for my own personal reasons. Just for God. Just for, yeah, Iris and Dave, pretty much. Like, um, but yeah, normally I just leave it on board though, because I, I love the camera. <laughs> yeah, it's gotta figure it out. No, no, no. Hayashi. And Cesarago. Given away cheaply by Gold Coast United and Fryer looking to take advantage. Oh, and it was Dale on the stretch there just to prevent that through ball 
think it might have been Tully Heatley running through there. And the ball over the top for Neckerbrook. And Worth having to come out and clear. Well, they haven't been into en enemy territory too much so far. Gold Coast United. And they're going to have to hold on to possession better than they have done there. As Dylan picks up the pieces. Both sides guilty of giving it away a little bit cheaply at the moment. Farmer. And that's worked well by Gold Coast United. It's D Quirk. Two in the middle. And behind by Mia Green. For a Gold Coast corner. Their third of the game. I think their first two came in the opening minute or so. Stia Neckerbrook across to take this one. And they've certainly got plenty of numbers in there. Gold Coast United. In comes a ball, a high one. It's a testing one. It's dealt with well by Brisbane City. And now Kramer on the charge. But again, I think it was Richards Bassett's there. Alert to the danger. Latham. Oh, and now ball dropping for Tully Heatley. And now Freya. And I think the flag was up. Layla Adams made the save regardless. But it just opened up there for Tully Heatley. And that ball there, I think Freya had just trade a yard or so offside it was a good save regardless by Layla Adams but City there just from their own defensive third working it quickly and that's the threat they have a little bit of a let off there for Gold Coast United just over four minutes of normal time remaining in this first half. Heatley. Pass wasn't a good one. Forward by Adir. You just got to try and make it stick. In that final third, a little bit better at the moment, Gold Coast United. <coughs> Heatley dropping deep. Cashman. Fryer to Dillon. Do have some options on the bench here. Brisbane City, Jonty Fisher. Letitia Foster amongst the substitutes. Also Georgia Beaumont. It's a bit more of a youthful Gold Coast United bench this evening. Obviously missing those important first team players, Bronte Rose and Zoe Corbett. It's certainly been a disciplined performance by Craig Midgley's side so far. This game still remains in the balance. Quirk. Back to Richards Bassett. City regain possession. Get it back again, Gold Coast United. That's a great turn by Neckerbrook. Finds low. Oh, and... I'm not sure if the flag did come up, but almost found D Quirk there. Oh, 
Crooks. Freya finding a pocket of space and finding Tully Heatley. Low cross comes into the edge of the box and it was Angelina Adur back defending. Corner number five for Brisbane City. Just, uh, just over a minute or so now of this first half remaining plus any stoppage time. It's always a great time to score just before half time. Can City find a goal here? Ball dropping in the box for Cook. Heatley back. Thompson, in comes across, it's a good one. He goes for a City throw in. I think it was Steph Latham arriving at the far post. Couldn't find that important touch, it's another City corner. Corner swung in, it's a deep one and onto the roof of the net. I think Gold Coast United will be in too much of a hurry to take this goal kick. I'll certainly be pleased with the defensive efforts so far in this opening 45 minutes. I think it's clear to see why they do have such a good defensive record. And see Yashi clears halfway into added on time. It's Amy Cook to Murphy. Probably a last chance here for Brisbane City. Kramer finds Heatley. It's led by the head of Hayashi. And cleared by Lowe. Cashman unable to keep that one in we've had coming up to one minute of added on time and that is the half time whistle here at the Imperial Court Stadium Brisbane City nil Gold Coast United nil in this top of the table NPL women's clash Gold Coast United almost took the lead in the first minute through Jade Lowe it was a very good save by Georgia Worth to Denier. City with the possession, but at the moment unable to find that breakthrough. This game very much in the balance. We'll see you for the second half soon. The Matildas are on fire. And the Socceroos have the breakthrough.
Belton Industries is proud to be the official shelter and grandstands partner of Football Queensland. Felton offers a range of premium aluminium grandstands, from elite portable spectator seating to soccer team shelters for players and coaches. Give your fans the best view of the game with Felton's comfortable spectator seating. With sun-safe shelters or powder-coated in your team colours, whatever your club needs, Felton has a high-quality, low-maintenance seating option to suit. We are the pioneers in Australian-made grandstands and team shelters. Contact Felton today on 1800 834 or visit felton.net.au.
And so for the got you then you sort of tie it up with the got there. Yeah. Yeah, I've already oh yeah. I've pulled that off. This is a good time to start tightening up. Welcome back to the Imperial Corp Stadium for this round five MPL women's clash between Brisbane City and Gold Coast United. Still awaiting our first goal. Nil-nil here. You might have seen substitution there by Brisbane City. Georgia Thompson has been replaced by number nine, Jonty Fisher. And straight away, City with a chance here with Tully Heatley saved by... Adams and put behind by Hayashi. Well, nearly a goal inside the opening. 15 seconds straight from kickoff. It was Tully Heatley just working her way through and then getting a shot away. Wouldn't fall for a City player. Galkos United keeping it at 0 0. forward by Andrews it was City who dominated possession in the first half just couldn't find the goal they came ever so close there and Latham will try the shot no! oh, what a goal from Steph Latham well no goalkeeper was stopping that one Just work the space onto the left boot. And City lead 1-0. Well. Steph Latham has goal number six for the season. And a dream start for the home side in this second half. Steph Latham with a little bit of magic. And a captain's goal to put the home side in front. Gold Coast United have done some stoic defending in the first half. They've come and stuck here in the 46 minutes. With that wonder strike from Steph Latham. Tully Heatley charging through the middle. Oh, and it might break again for Brisbane City. Brave goalkeeping by Layla Adams. I think it was Junty Fisher. Might have just left a mark on Layla Adams. It was something the ball was there to be competed for. And our referee Taylor Schofield just wanting to speak to the Gold Coast goalkeeper. Play will continue. Oh, what a signal for the away team after containing City for so long. As Richard Bassett's go down, and it might be a yellow card here. Referee is going to a pocket. It might have been Mia Green there who just tripped Richard Bassett, who would have been certainly away down the left hand flank there. So, our first goal and our first booking.
all in the space of four second half minutes it's a chance for Hayashi again it must be 40 yards or so out life from just in front you can see it just trying to put off Mama Hayashi Here she goes, she has gone for goal, Hiyashi, and it's taken very well by Georgia Worth there. Did well to hold on to that. Mama Hiyashi certainly does strike these with venom. Very good handling from the city number one. Layoff from Fryer. First time ball from Kramer, but too much pace on that. Dale. Back to Adams, it will be picked up here by Charlie Farmer. Into D Quirk. Carries the ball well and wins the throw in. She'll leave it for Richards Bassett. on by Quirk, away by Murphy. Neat turn by Amy Cook, who joined the club from Mitchelton. Another one who's worked under David De Silva before at the QAS. One back by Gold Coast United, but again, they just can't pick that pass. <laughs> Cashman, Cashman's control lets it down. It's the Gold Coast United throw in, taken by Andrews. Now, Hayashi. Fryer on the turn immediately finds Jonty Fisher. Fisher cutting inside. Spreads the play well to Tully Heatley. Heatley. Back to Dylan, but a loose pass. Allows Gold Coast United to come forward, but again, they can't hold on to the ball. It's back with Amy Cook. Heatley. Kramer. Tried the first time ball. Throw in into the goal scorer, Latham. Works it well, gets the cross in, a chance! stays out and Gold Coast United get it away now it's Cashman keeps it alive still going Jacqueline Cashman does ever so well she'll get another go and eventually it's cleared by the Gold Coast defence Brisbane City are smelling a second goal here Tully Heatley back in by Murphy and Dale out at the expense of a throw in I think it might have been Jonty Fisher arriving at the far post just couldn't connect properly with that Latham cross
Heatley cuts it back. Fryer tries to work some space. Away by Hiyashi. Back with Mia Green. Well, the Brisbane City win will take them to the top of the MPL women's competition. Cashman bursting forward, but Cesarago was equal to it. Latham still going, gets the cross in and taken at the second attempt by Layla Adams. Tully Heatley was waiting to pounce. Forward by Farmer, might find Quirk and Worth has come out to deal with the ball. Cesarago with the throw in. Again, they just can't hold on to the ball in the final third, Gold Coast United. Throw in goes the away side's way, it's Andrews. And City regaining possession. Lovely little flick there. I think it was by Cook. Richards Bassett. Looking for support. Tried to find Jade Lowe, but. Picked up by Amy Cook. Well, the game really following the pattern of the first half with the home side dominating possession. Gold Coast United just trying to maybe hit them on the break. City, of course, now with their noses in front with that wonder strike from Steph Latham after 47 minutes. Now Junty Fisher. Latham couldn't bring it under a spell. Adam straight to Kramer. And he's just given straight back to the home side. Kramer crossing opportunity. And a combination of Dale and Richard Bassett. They can get the ball away. to hold up in play, I'm not sure if uh, substitution's taking place just off our screen. Indeed, it does look like number 12, Letitia Foster, is coming on for this last half an hour or so. Did start the game against Eastern Suburbs last week. Join the side from Olympic FC. has a goal to a name already this season I think Ashley Adamson is coming on as well for the away side Ashley Adamson who made a first team debut in round two against Olympic FC so changes from both sides Jess Dillon the player who's made way for Letitia Foster. Do we have a button for substitutions? And it will be a city free kick.
two in the wall for Gold Coast United. In comes a free kick. It's met by the head of Hiyashi, who was fouled in doing so. So coming up to an hour gone, the Imperial Corp Stadium, Brisbane City 1, Gold Coast United 0. That's Steph Latham goal after 47 minutes. Just confirmation of another change by Craig Midgley, number 9, Sophie Parker, coming on for Kira Richard Bassett. As I mentioned earlier, it's a very youthful Gold Coast United bench this evening. Sophie Parker, a midfielder, who's been promoted from the under-23s this season as Hayashi steps out of defence. Forward ball, not dropping for Adamson or Quirk. Latham wants to throw in. I think she might get it as well. Yep, it's a city throw in. Fisher unable to pick out the city captain. So a couple of changes from both sides. Throw in by Cesaraga. Ball will roll out for a city goal kick. Next up for Brisbane City will be a trip to Mitchelton, who lost their first game of the season earlier this afternoon. That 4 1 defeat at the QAS, who picked up their first points of the season to the bargain. Fryer, low ball in, looking for Fisher. Couldn't get the right connection though. Heatley, Fryer. A oh, lovely through ball to find Steph Latham. Stays on her feet, still has it Steph Latham. And then can't find Fisher. Thought for a second she might have maybe gone down there. They looked like there may have been contact with Layla Adams. Play continues. Through ball not finding Adamson. And we remain at 1-0. Loose pass there from Green. Out again by Foster. Cesarago to take. Cesarago, but it's cleared by City, picked up by Farmer. Parker unable to control it and, and gives away the foul, Sophie Parker.
Georgina Worth to take this free kick. Taken down nicely there by Freya. Excellent close control. Finds Latham. Heatley's made a run in front. If she can find her, and she can, it's Tully Heatley. And again, it's Layla Adams to the rescue. More neat build up play from the home side. Great control in there. You can see the run from Tully Heatley. Just that first touch. Just a little heavy, and Adams able to, to gather the ball. Cashman, Fisher, Freya, Heatley to her right, goes it alone to Freya, and it's just over the bar. I don't think Layla Adams would have got there. Some effort from Laney Freya. Just a little look up and almost catching out Layla Adams. Ball has gone for a City throw in. It doesn't get too much easier for Gold Coast United. They have a home tie against Eastern Suburbs. Obviously, might be a bit of revenge on their minds next weekend after that grand final defeat at the Suncorp Stadium last year. They've got, well, 24 minutes or so to try and come up with an equaliser. Get a chance here with Adamson. Throwing all the way back to Mia Green. Forward by Murphy. Foster. Cashman being pursued by Adamson. Throw in for the away side. Lions FC currently underway against Peninsula Power and tomorrow we'll have Olympic taking on South and Sunshine Coast Wanderers against Eastern Suburbs. Of course you can catch it all live here on FQTV. Lions FC, the premiers from last season, made a slow start so far this year just one win from their opening four games. As Kramer can't keep that one in. Certainly you wouldn't write Lions off. Despite that, just one win and one draw from the opening four games. Brisbane City above these size of beaten Lions actually. Brisbane City by three goals to two in the opening round. And then Gold Coast United with a 4-3 victory again at the Luxury Paint Stadium. City throw in. And it's 
spun back well and the ball comes in first time he was looking for Adamson and he'll go for a goal kick Goal Coast United just reminding us they're still in this game it's that low cross coming Adamson just trying to stretch in front of Mia Green couldn't get the vital touch We might have a third Gold Coast United substitution. And number 23, Ellie McMurtry, coming on for D Quirk. And as I said earlier, has been mainly coming on as a in a substitute role this this season, but she's managed 70 minutes tonight. Ellie McMurtry. 20 minutes or so to make an impact here comes City first time cross comes in oh. Steph Latham at the far post unable to find that telling touch what a pass by Fryer and then that first time ball by Tully Heatley Steph Latham was stretching but Unable to get a vital touch. Hayashi taken short. Adur who's been filling in at centre half so far Kiri Dale moving into a more familiar fullback role picked up again by Dale has gone for the shot Not sure if that counts as a shot on target Georgia Worth just able to easily take the ball It might have been on target. Hayashi leaving it for Layla Adams. Adams electing to kick. Adamson and make a nuisance of herself, but Cashman. Getting it back to Green. Headed on by Fisher. Launched by Hayashi. Ball back with Georgina Worth, but there may have been a foul by a Gold Coast player. Looks like it will be a free kick to the home side. McMurtry and now Adamson Those three youngsters up front now for Gold Coast United trying to make an impact of course without their Main regular striker Bronte Rose, who got 15 last season, has four already, but unavailable this evening. Can Cashman keep this one in? She can. Back to the edge of the box and Latham again, this time with the right foot, and it's a good save by Layla Adams. Getting down well to push that ball away well, Steph Latham showing she's pretty good with the right boots as well looking for that bottom corner and Layla Adams at full stretch <laughs> Brisbane City might be making their final change this evening Number 26, 
Georgia Beaumont coming on for Tully Heatley. Came on last week against Eastern Suburbs, scored in that 8-1 win against Sunshine Coast and she's straight into the action here. There. May have just been a little push there by McMurtry. Brisbane City free kick. Looking to try and put this game out of Gold Coast reach. Freya standing over this free kick. Two Gold Coast United players in the wall. Can City find this second goal that you feel will put the game out the reach of the away side? Here's a free kick. Oh, and it was again taken well at the second attempt by Layla Adams. Immediately rolls it out to Kiri Dale. Adur. That's a good ball to find Neckerbrook. I think they might have just taken a nick there, and Gold Coast United have got themselves a corner. Stia Neckerbrook making her way across to take this one. Scored in that 4-0 win at QAS. Corners taken to the edge of the box. But City... Coming away with Fryer. And a disappointing end there for Gold Coast United. And City might make them pay here with Foster trying to well, find the run of John T. Fisher. It almost ended up as a good pass for Jacqueline Cashman. Nickerbrook was across to make the interception. City throw in, taken by Cashman. That drop here for Letitia Foster, finds Jonty Fisher. Cashman. Green to her defensive partner, Billy Murphy. it will be a Brisbane City throw in just in front of the home dugout Cashman back to green turned over by City Neckerbrook and cleared by Adur Apologies if you're experiencing some technical difficulties at the moment. Hopefully that has been resolved. It looks like Gold Coast United did make a change. 
amongst all of that number 37 Charlie's Alems has come on just over 10 minutes left in this one Brisbane City currently heading to the top of the MPL women's ladder what can Gold Coast United come up with Duh. long ball looking for Adamson Gone for a city goal kick. Do apologise for the temporary loss of transmission. Hoping that has been resolved now. That was just a Momo Hayashi free kick going into the box. And it's hooked in again by Hayashi. And, uh, unable to bring it down and City with a chance to try and break here. As the tackle comes in from Charlie Farmer. Which has earned her a yellow card. So City three kick, five minutes or so remaining. Brisbane City still a goal to the good. Yeah, sure. A free kick taken by Kramer. In it comes to the far post. Foster will retrieve this one. In by Latham. Oh, and it might drop here for Fisher. And she's put it over with a goal at her mercy. Oh, what a chance that was for Brisbane City. Jonty Fisher with the opportunity to make it 2-0. And you feel that would have been that. Gold Coast United still alive. As a substitute, Alerns does well, gets it back. And then can't find a yellow shirt. But, uh, Picking out Dale, but she's shown too much of that to Kramer. It's Latham having to go with the left foot now, stings the palms of Layla Adams. City knocking on the door. And kept in well by Adamson. Rides the tackle. And Foster, whose name is taken, is putting a hand up there to acknowledge that booking. Three and a half minutes or so left of this one. Mamo Hayashi, as ever, standing over this set piece. Hayashi hoisted up towards the penalty spot. Heads go up. Might drop for Neckerbrook. Ball back with Hayashi. Blocked by Latham. Can't prevent the throw in though. Farmer, Dale on the turn, shows too much of it to Amy Cook, 
Will that go for a throw in? Just about. Can Gold Coast United conjure up an equaliser here? With two minutes or so remaining. Fisher. In comes the ball. But the cross is a poor one. Layla Adams immediately looking to get her side on the attack. They're going to have to hold on to the ball better than that. It's back with Freya and that surely is a trip. And again, Taylor Schofield going to her pocket. It's a yellow card for Angelina Adur. Shaking the hand there of Freya. It's Stephanie Latham standing over this one. Georgia Bowman making her way into the penalty area. Steph Latham fancies this one as we enter the last minute of normal time. Garfield just making sure that wall is the necessary distance away. Here comes Latham. Oh, and it's just fizzes over. I think Layla Adams knew it was going wide. Well, 90 minutes on the clock. We have had a number of substitutions, so should be a few minutes or so left in this one. It's McMurtry. Throw in, they're in a bit of a hurry to take it. Left for Kiri Dale. Hooked into the box, which should be cleared by Brisbane City and is Latham. Now, City with a chance. It's two on one here. It's Jonty Fisher. And now, Freya. Galkos able to get some numbers back. Beaumont. And pushed over by Layla Adams. Georgia Beaumont nearly making it 2 0. And a good reflex save there from Layla Adams. City corner. I think they're going to take this one short. You can hear the instruction is slow it down a little bit. As we are a minute and a half into injury time. It is taken short. Latham just keeping it in the corner flag. Thank you. Another corner for Brisbane City and just eat up a few more seconds. Looks like it's going to be the same plan again. Taken by City. That ball just staying in the far corner. Eventually reaches the edge of the box and Letitia Foster. Now Kiri Dale, they need to get it forward, Gold Coast United. Hayashi now playing much further forward. Freya just happy to thump that out for a throw in. Adura across to take. 
two and a half minutes I've added on time so far Beaumont Cook back with Freya almost kicking for touch there if you like just getting that ball further up the pitch Hayashi Adamson Hayashi giving chase and Mia Green just preventing the corner but the throw in's taken quickly and she can't prevent that one and I think it's now or never for Gold Coast United they're going to throw everything at this. Craig Mitchell urging his team forward. Hayashi with the corner. In it comes from Hayashi. It's not a, a great corner, but she might get another go at this one. 94 minutes on the clock. She's going to have to be quick. I think Layla Adams has made her way into the penalty area. In it comes. Headed away. Hayashi's going to put this straight back in. Now oh, it's Layla Adams hooking it forward. But collected by Georgina Worth. And that is full time here at the Imperial Court Stadium. And Brisbane City have won this one by a goal to nil. And they move to the top of the MPL women's ladder. That Steph Latham goal after 47 minutes. Enough to overcome the visitors this evening. Thanks for watching FQTV. I've been Adam Cattell. Have a great evening.